All right, welcome to another presentation by Coffee Shop Startups. Uh, today we are going to be talking a little bit about the elements of your coffee shop budget planning. Um, again, this is brought to you by coffeeshopstartups.com. We help aspiring coffee shop entrepreneurs or coffee entrepreneurs launch uh, their own coffee business. So for more information, check us out at coffeeshopstartups.com. There's plenty of information there to see, uh, close to 200 posts of relevant information um, that focuses on a variety of important topics on starting your own coffee business. So check us out at coffeeshopstartups.com. All right. One of the first things that we need to do when we talk about your budget is writing everything down. There's a, a lot of information, there's a tremendous amount of data that you will be collecting uh, to accurately uh, develop your budget. And one of the first things I can recommend is to write it all down. Um, write the numbers down, get your um, estimates that you have, write them down. Um, what I have seen over the years is that the numbers the, the costs of a coffee business can paralyze uh, aspiring entrepreneurs. And this often basically stops them right in their tracks of moving forward with their business. My uh, encouragement to you is to embrace the numbers, embrace those costs. Those costs are basically your investment to your money making vehicle, which is your coffee business. Um, so when it comes to your coffee shop startups cost, don't be afraid to face to face them head on. All right. So a lot of people ask me, how much does a coffee shop cost? How much does a coffee bar cost? Well, it ultimately depends on a variety of different items that you see listed here. One, it depends on your menu, your concept, your location, the condition of the location that you the space, the physical space. Um, that you are uh, planning to lease out, the fixtures and furniture and plumbing, lighting, and of course the inventory, the equipment, all of that um, really uh, comes together to answer how much a coffee shop um, or a coffee business costs. So when you ask somebody how much does it cost to start a coffee shop and they give you an exact number, well, I, I don't, I think that's slightly disingenuous. I think first, the first follow-up question should be, what kind of business do you want? Um, all right. So as we are going through your budget, um, as you are going through your elements of your budget, you want to be able to over budget. Uh, you do this starting from uh, the get-go because you don't want to under budget. You don't want to, you rather have a few dollars in the bank than be uh, that that's left over uh, than a few dollars short that uh, uh, won't allow you to complete your actual business or business concept. Um, the second thing I recommend that you do is you want to separate your personal finances from your um, you know your business finance finances as early as possible. And um, and three, just be aware that. The costs that you're going to be incurring are going to be changing as the their business concept develops and matures. All right, so just, here's, these are just quick tips on starting your coffee shop when it comes to your budget, um, but also in, in, in general. All right, so step number one, know what kind of coffee business you want. We talked about it briefly earlier. You've got to determine what, what's your, what your what is your concept going to be? Um, from then, from from that point on, from that first stepping stone, is where everything else will come together. All right, the step number two: start early in determining your budget. Uh, keep it in mind your break-even point. Now, as you begin to develop your budget, you will begin to understand your break-even point. You won't be able to reach that until you answer and and determine what the costs are that we of of the bullet points. Uh, that we just mentioned earlier. All right, step three. During all this time, you want to be able to learn everything you can about the retail coffee business. Now, I've met so many people who come from a variety of walks of life uh, and, uh, and professional backgrounds. Um, they might have a marketing background, a business background, um, a coffee background, a culinary background, a tech background, or just completely, uh, you know, um, 
off the beaten path. For example, uh, special ed teachers might want to start their own coffee business instead of, um, you know, uh, when, when they're thinking about retiring. So there's a lot of different backgrounds. Learn as much as you can, whatever background background you come from. Um, now, step number four. You're going to be able to. You're going to want to be able to prepare a budget proposal or business plan for your property uh, manager, your property owners. Um, that's that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, now you are building a plan for yourself, but you're also building it for an audience. Usually, it's an audience of one or two, um, and that is your property manager or your property owner. Um, and also your potential investors. Step number five is you're going to adjust your budget as your plan evolves. Um, for example, you might say, look, you know what? I wanted to have a piano coffee bar with uh, dueling pianos. And you know what? We're just going to we're going to scrap the pianos. We're going to just uh, put up a stage instead and have a comedy night or a poetry night. You're going to adjust your budget as your plan uh, meets the reality of your budget. All right. Step number six is you want to decide on a clear path to execute your plan. This means keep it simple. Don't make it just, you know, make it sequential if you have to, um, but keep it simple. And then step number seven is the logical uh, last step is take steps every day to reach your goal, which is learn, research, prepare. There's so many things about uh, a coffee uh, business that you will want to uh, take on. You can do this every day, whether it's, pre you know, preparing, um, uh, you know, preparing yourself, training as a as a as a barista, or um, you know, developing your logo, getting your website, structuring your business. You're going to want to do something every day, uh, in small steps, so that you can reach your goal. All right. So when you when you're developing your budget, you want to be able to determine your one-time costs. These are your bigger costs, like your espresso machine, your coffee grinders, maybe some furniture. Your fixed costs. Your fixed costs are generally uh, costs that are incurred at a fixed rate uh, regularly. This can be your leasing um, costs, your insurance premiums. Uh, your variable costs or ongoing costs are those that are um, uh, you know, for example, your labor, your utilities, um, your, um, your, like I said, your water, your utilities, those are your ongoing variable costs that you're going to be incurring. Uh, so, and then that falls within your operational costs as well. So keep that in mind. All right, let's, let's briefly talk about uh, a sample, um, uh, budget that we're just going to be building out. Like if you were going to be building out something, we wanted to write this down just as a sample, you're going to fill in your own stuff, uh, of course. All right, but of course, before we get started with that, I want to—I do want to recommend that before you begin to actually spend money, that you set up your own business structure, that you create your own bank account. That's really important because you don't want to co-mingle your personal finances and your regular finances. And, and two, start creating your budget today. There's nothing wrong with just starting now. Take 15 minutes a day and just start working on your budget and soon these numbers won't seem so intimidating. So let's take a look at some of these numbers. Um, again, what are we going to start off with when you have a coffee shop? If, if you are having a brick and mortar business, for example, you're going to have a first and second month's lease and a security deposit. You're going to have insurance premiums, inspector fees, utility connections, and of course your LLCs and other business license fees that you're going to need to deal with. Now, I have them written down here. These are arbitrary numbers. They're going to change, of course. Your first month lease um, may be higher, may be lower. Um, and, and uh, you know, your numbers will definitely be different than this. However, this is just a guide to let you kind of think about some of the ups, the startup costs that you're going to you know, have to be, uh, you know, that you will inc incur. So this total rounds up to about $5,700. Um, now, if you buy a space or you lease a space, the condition is going to determine a lot about your coffee shop startup's cost. Now, uh, you might find a great space that maybe was previously a cafe. You're going to have very little to do. That'll be great. It'll save you money. Uh, you might find another amazing place that's next to all the your customers that you're going to you're going to want to scoop up. Um, but they might it might incur other other costs at first, like your electrical installations, your counters and lighting and painting and shelving and flooring and all those 
different costs that come with building out um, your coffee business. And again, go back to the original question is how much does it take to start a coffee shop? Again, it depends. It depends on that location. And as I mentioned earlier, the um, the situation of that that space, right? The condition of that space. All right. So again, here with that, these, these light upgrades, and this very conservative estimate, depending on the space, this comes out to 5,900. All right, now your coffee equipment. Now this is going to be, um, you know, this is going. This is the stuff that's going to allow you to make your product. Right. This is important. This is like no. It's hard to cheat around this. You can maybe will save money here and there, but you're going to need these items and more to fulfill your menu, which is why it's impo so important to uh, link your costs with your menu items. All right, so as you can see here, go down the list, um, espresso machine. Espresso machines are pretty pricey. You know, you can buy a used one, but it might break down. You can buy, uh, um, you know, a, a brand new, you know, stylish Slayer espresso machine, for example, and you're going to be paying quite a quite a penny for that. Um, you're going to have, you know, grinders. You're going to have uh, maybe, uh, freezers and refrigerators. You're going to have um, some mop sinks that uh, you're going to need to install. Um, all these all these uh, pieces of equipment come down uh, to create your product. And again, in this scenario, it's about twenty-two thousand dollars. Of course, you'll be able. To, you might be able to save. Um, uh, some money on your espresso machines you might be able to save money on grinders um, and uh, which are about fifteen hundred dollars each depending on um, um, what kind you get um, but you're going to want two grinders um, at least <clears throat> so again twenty two thousand uh, other items that you're going to of course you're going to have to incur is inventory you might want to invest in marketing up, up front a web you know, your, your website uh, office supplies, and this is about 2200 So grand total, it's about $36,000 uh, before you serve your first drink. Um, so what you want to do is you want to be able to budget for your space, budget for your menu and your concept, and then uh, put a price to each of those items and then uh, making it fit together. Now, part of the developing your budget, especially for investors, especially for yourself, is knowing what is your break-even point. Um, and, you know, determining your break-even point, you're going to need to know your expenses and you're going to need to know your revenue, your expenses. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to show you that to, to, to determine your break-even point, you're going to have to determine your fixed cost, your variable cost, your one-time startup cost, add them up together and... Um, and then you're going to be able to, um, you know, you can divide them by a certain amount of time, um, and then you can calculate that against the same time in your monthly, uh, in your sales. So, for example, uh, let's say you make an extra, you know, you say you make fifteen thousand dollars a month in sales. Uh, ten thousand, ten ten thousand dollars of that is in your uh, one time. Uh, excuse me, in your fixed and variable costs, and you have $5,000 left over, you're going to um, take that $5,000 and determine how many months will it take you to make up that $36,000. So and if you had $5,000 in extra revenue um, every month, you would. How, how long will it take for you to make up uh, that $36,000? And then you want to break that down monthly. Um, I... If you if you check out coffeeshopstartups.com, we uh, go through this a little more in a little more detail, um, and um, um, so again, uh, we want to be able to forecast forecast your sales. We want to be able to uh, if you are buying an existing business, you're going to um, take a look at the profit and loss statements, the P and Ls as they're called, um, and then you want to count customers. Even if you buy an existing business, you're going to want to count customers for yourself because you're going to want to see how many customers um, are either coming in or how many customers are potentially, how many people are potentially your customers in within a given specific location. Um, and again, you want to add that up, and that is going to be your estimated uh, sales. Now, of course, it's easier uh, with an existing business, but 
with a newer business and a new location, you're going to need to um, uh, do some guesstimating. And, the re and one of the ways you guesstimate is by counting customers or by determining what other similar businesses in that area are doing. Um, all right, so uh, we want to just point you to some resources here. We have a, offer a complete Coffee Shop Startups kit at coffeeshopstartups.com along with a business plan template. Now, again, these are just elements of your business. We're going to get more specific uh, in our next uh, uh, complimentary uh, video that comes with this uh, first video here. So this is one of two. Again, uh, we wanted to lay out the elements that you're going to need to start uh, your, uh, your own budget. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope it's been helpful. And check out Coffee Shop Startups and read a free uh, article on, um, on our blog. Thank you.